What's up everyone? I've been requested to talk about angle control and release points a little bit. So uh, starting off with hitting your angles. Um, first of all, I think hitting angles is a lot more important than hitting lines. If you think about it, you throw a disc out there on a flat line and you're trying to throw like a little bit of a heiser angle towards the basket. You release it flat, let the disc fade, and you park it, let's say that. If you had one tick of turn, too much Anheuser out of the hand, it could end up 50 feet right of the basket. Where if you hit your angle but just miss your line by a little bit, you'll only miss about by about 10 feet instead. So I think hitting your angles is more important than hitting lines, especially when it comes to wide open fields, and that's why I stress throwing over stable discs. So talking about that, I'm gonna go, I think he just made that. So talking about um, angles, I'm gonna go through the flat, the hyzer, and the anhyzer release point. Also with sidearms as well. So starting out with the Anheuser release angle. You basically have a hula hoop on your body that controls the shot. So however you want your line to be, that's, what, that's where you lean to. So your hula hoop changes based on the angle you're leaned over. If I'm throwing Annie like this, I want to, you know, I get my normal stance, lean back a little bit. You reach back on the angle you want to throw on, come through, normal, and then release on an Anheuser. So it's gonna look like this. And you're gonna follow through down towards the ground to make sure you keep that angle integrity. Talking about a flat release, try to keep your arm level the entire way. So I'm throwing flat. I'm gonna reach back, flat on the same angle I like to, pull through flat, and when I follow through, I'm gonna go here, keep it flat on the same angle with my hula hoop. So that'll look like this. And yes, these are like 100 foot shots, but whatever, you're getting the point. And then for a hyzer, same thing applies. Reach back on the angle you want, a little bit of hyzer or flats, okay, for the hyzer shot specifically. Lean over, lean your torso over forward, weight on your toes, Keep that hula hoop right here. It's like this. So that'll look like this. This is gonna help make everything easier when it comes to hitting your angles and everything. So that applies to all distances, all shot shapes. Same thing applies to the forehands. Throw in a hyzer forehand, you're gonna reach back on the hyzer angle, use your shoulders, pull through, release, palm up. Let that swooping motion happen. A flat sidearm, you're kind of coming down and through, popping it like that. And on an Anheuser sidearm, you're gonna be coming here, up, over, releasing by your ear, coming down like a baseball throw at the ground. So I hope this helps, guys. Um, I'll put a couple videos towards the end so you guys can watch me throwing a little harder um, so you guys can check out my angle control and how I regulate that. And uh, yeah, like I said, it's one of the most important parts of becoming a good disc golfer is knowing your angles and knowing when to use them in certain situations. So thanks for watching. Drop some video recommendations in the comments below. And uh, thanks for watching. Here is the hyzer toss. <laughs> Working on my uh, reach back right here as well. Same thing with the left side. Comes through, pulling through on a slight hyzer angle, releasing on the hyzer angle falling through up. Look at that motion right there towards the end. You can basically see the hula hoop is rotating around my body on that hyzer angle I was looking for. Finishing on the hyzer. Okay, here's the flat throw. Right now I'm working on reaching back on a flat angle. You can see it right there. Letting the left side come through, pulling through on a flat line and releasing relatively flat. And then focusing the fall through Flat as well, everything's basically flat and throw. Kind of makes sense, but that's just how it is for the backhand flat throw. Here's the Anheuser throw. You can already see immediately my weight is back. Leaning back, leaning back, leaning back. Look at the angle of my arm and my left leg right there. It's pretty similar. Coming through, leaning over, releasing on the Anheuser, following through down is extremely important. That way you don't throw a nose up. 
A nose up Anheuser can be very uncontrollable, but if you're able to get the nose down, it can result in good distance, good accuracy, and great shot shaping as well. So I think the Anheuser throw is one of the most productive throws because it allows you to throw a couple different lines. You can go flippy on an Anheuser to hit a roller. You can go stable on an Anheuser to have a flex shot, which I feel like that's the best part in my game. Or you can throw a neutral disc on an Anheuser and just have it hold the entire way. Either way, there's many different angles you can throw it on. All of this applies to forehands, what I talked through in the non-slow-mo video, but hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and thanks for watching.